peace and bless his family. Peace and blessings. This prophet, Yaakim. And God just put this word on my spirit today. We're going to talk about self-doubt. Self-doubt. That is something I struggle with majority of my life. It's something that happens due to our personal experiences throughout life. Our negative experiences just uh, accumulating over and over and over again. And the lack of support, and you don't have any support, other people you think supposed to be there for you the most, but in your time of need, they're just adding fuel to the fire. They're not helping, they're not cooperating. And you know, by your surprise, they're throwing salt in your wounds. And it brings them pleasure. And it brings them joy. So what do you do about this? Not only but to have self-doubt. What can you do when everything is working against you all the time? When you like, how is this even possible? Why can I win? Why can I win? But see, you can win. You can win. Sometimes you just have to tweak some things. Tie in some knobs, take out some screws, replace some parts, and you can win. You can win, I believe in you. You can definitely win. So I'm gonna start off with this verse for y'all in Mark 9 and 23. It says, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mm, 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 mm. That's very true. If you can just believe, just be delusional. You know, you know how you used to as a child, you believe like you gonna be, you can be anything in the world. That's why God says keep a child like faith, have a child like faith. I remember the other day, I was in the park. I just heard children talking and it was riding a bike. And he was talking about how just to, you know, stand up on the bike, you feel like you're like on a flying bicycle. He said, just imagine in like a year from now or two years from now, there's gonna be flying bicycles. And it made me laugh. Cause I remember as a child having that type of imagination. It made me think how a lot of us, as we grow into adulthood, we lose that due to our families and society standards saying you have to be this way, you have to be that way. But that will make you unique. You need that. Because that's, that's your creativity. That's who you are. And God put something in each and every one of us that we just have to tap into. Now, no, you can do it. Now, you can do it. And shout out to this brother. What's his name? Shinon Davis. He's a well spoken brother. He got good content. He said something that really resonated with me. And he said, you know, just be delusional, you know? Lie to yourself. Even if you don't believe it, the brain is powerful. You can rewire your brain and how you think. You know, if you don't find yourself very attractive, start saying to yourself every single morning and every single night, I'm handsome, I'm handsome. I love myself. I love myself. My eyes are beautiful. My facial hair is amazing, right? And I promise you, it might not happen the next day or the day after that, but one day 
you gonna look at yourself in that mirror and just smile. You gonna smile and be like, I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm happy to be alive and I do have some beautiful eyes. God is good. And I got a scripture that comes from Corinthians. It says, Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, and endureth all things. And that's just a concept of life. If you believe all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, and believeth all things, your life will be fruitful. Because you can't control what life throws at you. God tests us. God will test us all. Every single day. And the devil. He's going to come after you. Every single day. So you ain't got no time for self-doubt. You know, honestly. But I know it's something we all struggle with. And I just pray... You got some edification from this video. No, well, death and life lies in the power of the tongue. So why not speak life? And of course, there's many other things you can add to that arsenal of yours. You know, practicing better habits, eating healthy, dressing nice, um, you know, doing your hair, you know, getting a haircut. So, don't limit yourself and don't limit God. You know, don't live in your mind so much. I used to do that all the time. Just empty your mind, let the saying goes. Do the best you can. I believe in you. I believe in you. God bless you. Peace and blessings.